the kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make stuffed grape leaves, which is a very popular Middle Eastern dish. And I'm going to start off by showing you the ingredients and the measurements of each ingredient. So over here I have one jar of grape leaves, one cup of ground beef, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of turmeric, one tablespoon of dry mint, one tablespoon of seven spice, and two teaspoons of salt. Over here I have two tablespoons of canola oil, two tablespoons of olive oil, an eight ounce can of tomato sauce, and three tablespoons of maggi. And over here I have half a cup of um, chopped parsley, one third of a cup of diced onions, and two and a half cups of medium grain rice. I rinsed my rice, and now I'm gonna let it soak in hot water for about 30 minutes. I drained all my rice, and we've added all the seasonings to it, except for the maggi and tomato sauce. You do not wanna add the maggi and tomato sauce to your rice mixture. And this is what it should look like when it's all mixed in. And now we're ready to stuff it inside of the grape leaves. the rice, we're gonna go ahead and wash the grape leaves. leaves you want to strain them. Straining our grape leaves, we're going to go ahead and start rolling. You want to put your grape leaf on a clean surface and we're going to be putting about half a tablespoon on the grape leaf. Now it depends on how big your grape leaf is but if it's about a medium-sized grape leaf you're going to be using half a tablespoon and then you're going to fold the sides in and then you're going to fold the middle into it and just roll it very tightly like this. set aside and now we're going to do another one so you're going to stuff it with about half a tablespoon of the rice stuffing and you're first going to fold the sides in and then you're going to fold the middle in and you're going to roll it very tightly and what it should look like after it's been rolled and now we're going to go ahead and put it in the pot and I'll show you what it looks like when it's in the pot. Layering some potatoes in a pot. I'm going to be cooking my dowadi in an electric pressure cooker. So I'm just putting them in that pot to go underneath the dowadi. And that will help the dowadi not get burnt and like not stick to the bottom. And I'm also going to be layering some onions. I'm going to start layering the grape leaves on top of the onions. And you want to do it very neatly so that they don't move around while cooking. And I'll show you what that looks like when it's all done. This is how the grape leaves should look like once they're layered in the pot. I've added one fourth of a cup of olive oil on top of the grape leaves. And now I'm going to go ahead and make the tomato broth that's going to go on top too. And I'll show you how to do that. I'm making the tomato broth is boiling six cups of water. And then I'm going to be adding the tomato sauce and the chicken flavor maggi. And I'll show you when we get to that part. Okay, now that my water is boiling, I'm going to go ahead and add the tomato sauce. and the chicken flavor maggi. And then you mix it in very well and boil for a few minutes all together until it gets well blended. After the tomato sauce is ready, it's gonna look like that. And what you wanna do is put a plate on top of the grape leaves so that they don't move and they stay in place while cooking. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add the tomato sauce on top of that. You wanna make sure that the tomato sauce is covering the sides of the plate that you're gonna put on top of the grape leaves. And now I'm gonna cook it on high on the, in the pressure cooker for an hour and 15 minutes. Now I'm using an electric pressure cooker, but you can also use the regular stovetop pressure cooker.